Hello traders, uh, today I want to talk about the ABCD pattern here. Uh, this is a chart pattern, very reliable chart pattern. And this pattern you can see on the daily chart, on the weekly chart, and then we can see also on the hourly chart, 4 hours chart. And this is a 5 minute chart, uh, Euro USD. You will see on the 50 minute chart, it's a very reliable chart pattern, and the professional will follow it. Like I always say, the number one uh, indicator is uh, the price itself. Okay, so when the professional see this pattern, they will all jump on it and, and use it because it's a very reliable pattern, easy money for everybody, and nobody is going to mess this uh, uh, pattern up unless there is some uh, major news that can change this pattern. But if there is no major news that is coming up, uh, this pattern is very very reliable pattern. Okay, so you have the A. Here, I hope you can see this letter here, the A, the letter blue A here, and the letter B here. So this portion, yeah, the distance A to B here, and then you have the distance B to C, C is here, and then you have the distance C to D, okay? So they call it A, B, C, D pattern, okay? Now, if some people say one, two, three pattern, but this is A, B, C, D pattern, where, where you have to look for the portion, the distance A to B, will be equal to the distance C to D. That's in theory. In most cases, you will see that the AB portion, which is this portion, the AB portion here, will be exactly equal to the CD portion. This one today is exactly the distance 50 point here from C to D on 5 minutes chart of USD, okay? And the AB was exactly equal to the CD here. And everybody's coming out here now, right now. So what you are looking for after the BC portion, portion here, you are looking for this uh, trend line here to be broken okay once the trend line is broken the continuation yeah it's a continuation pattern so like i said to you the number one indicator is the price itself and do not look too much on the indicator uh, like i always say look first on the chart okay and then you look on the indicator okay you see what the price is. what so the first question was is will be always what the price the price is telling us okay so you look at each other say what the price is telling us okay you look carefully open your eyes if you don't see on five minutes look on 50 minute chart look on the hourly chart okay apart from your preparation for day trading and then after you see what the price is telling you and then you look on the indicator to confirm that if you feel confident with your indicator and then you follow your indicator to enter your trade okay and uh, here it was easy trade okay easy trade right now and it, it come down like i said this morning it, they will, there is a lot of uh, bad news regarding the euro and exactly the professional started to sell the euro and this is what's happening now and the euro instead of it displayed this morning a very nice uh, inverted head and shoulder but uh, that's uh, inverted head and shoulder has failed and uh, like i said you have to be very flexible when you are trading um, all the time and if you see that uh, uh, your signal has turned around and failed you close that play, trade and look for the next opportunity don't waste all your money there uh, thinking that it's going to change it's going to change cut your losses there will be a better opportunity in the future so this is about uh, the, the 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 abcd pattern i hope this will help you in the future if you see on the daily chart this is a swing trading opportunity to get in here and stay here many days but always pay attention to the news and uh, the major news the warnings okay and the earnings and uh, especially if you want to sell stock uh, stocks you have to be very very careful if you if you're selling stock for for many days pay, be very very careful because in most cases it may fail because the tendency of the market naturally is to go up and the risk is quite high if you're selling or shorting a store for many days it's better to do it if you are shorting do it in the intraday okay day trading shorting is the best thing to do okay but if you want to do swing trading for many days it's better to do to to be long okay but don't do uh, don't be bullish during the bearish time okay so uh, i hope uh, this uh, also is helpful to you and also like i said look look careful for the other chart pattern like uh, uh, the, the, the the head and shoulder is a good uh, trading pattern and then you can do also there's a projection to do that i'll show you next time how you do that and to follow price so you set your target and you come out exactly there okay
and the same thing for the inverted head and shoulder okay there is also a projection to do and this one also we know that the price will come in these regions here that's why everybody's coming out here okay if you know this and you see this pattern this a b form and then you see this pin coming this the bc form and then the trend is broken you know such a way where the price is going and that's where the price went to exactly here okay now everybody's coming out now the, the, the bearish party is finished here okay so everybody's coming out and the price is going up again you see so you can learn all this the double top pattern okay the the cap and handle okay pattern you learn it also and uh, you go to this uh, uh, website called uh, chartpattern.com you learn all these chart patterns you apply them carefully you study them okay so you master them okay so when you come on the chart like this you look but some of the chart pattern that are valid uh, for the day daily chart does not uh, they don't work uh, on the on the on the intraday chart okay so there are some chart pattern like um, triangle accent the triangle they don't work usually for 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 intraday data you have to be careful for those ones so some of them like this one the abcd pattern will work on the intraday pattern which intraday chart which is five minutes uh, 15 minutes or this it will work perfectly but if you are using a triangle yes a triangle pattern a sunday triangle descending triangle or or whatever whichever triangle you are using usually in the intraday chart like five minutes or ten minutes it doesn't work very much so you have to know which one is working in the intraday chart in order to avoid making mistake okay the double top pattern work on the intraday chart okay and also the head and shoulder will work in intraday part intraday chart and also the inverted head and shoulder also will work in intraday uh, chart the pennants or okay, the wages or whatever they call them they don't work on the on the intraday chart a lot of people use that during the five minutes or 10 minutes or 15 minutes chart or even the hour chart and they lose money because uh, the, the, these are these are a uh, pattern that are more successful for the daily chart or weekly chart okay so try to find out which one is working for the for the for the for the intraday chart which is five minutes 15 minutes all this thing and then uh, filter them out and use them correctly but if you use them blindly or you'll be surprised and say oh they told me to use this pattern now it's not working and i lose money okay so this is one that is working in the intraday pattern the abcd pattern so learn it and next time use it and uh, be rewarded till next time be happy and enjoy yourself thank you